Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we're talking about various solution sets. You have a problem like this, an equation like this, x plus 4 is equal to 7. Obviously, this is a very easy one-step equation. When we solve it, we our solution, we end up with x equals 3. This equation has, uh, let me change colors here, this equation has one solution. There is only one number that will make this equation true. 3 is the only thing that you can put in for x so that when 4 is added to it you get 7. Only one number makes this work. This has one solution. What we're going to look at are some equations that have, well, that don't have just one solution. Alright, so let's start out solving this one. I'm going to use the distributive property. 3 times 2w is 6w. 3 times 4 is 12. And on the right side, 6 times w is 6w. 6, 6 plus 1 is 6. I'm sorry, 6 times 1 is 6. And then we've got another plus 6. Now remember from the last video, we are going to simplify each side before we do anything to both sides. So on the right, we've got a positive 6 and a positive 6 that needs to be combined. The left side is going to stay exactly how it is. But on the right, we have 6w, and 6 plus 6 gives us a plus 12. You can see already that on the left side, we've got 6w plus 12, and on the right side, we've got 6w plus 12. We, we're, we're pretty much done here, but we are going to go ahead and get our variables together first. All right, I'm going to take away 6w. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So if I do 6w minus 6w on both sides, all of my w's are gone. What I'm left with is 12 on the left and 12 on the right. Now, here's the question. Does 12 equal 12? Yes, it does. This is called an identity. All right, real big and really sloppy. Sloppily. Identity. Anytime your variables go away and you are left with a true statement, like 12 equals 12, it's called an identity. And what this means is you could substitute any number in for w and it would make a true statement. Back up here. If we went back up here, it doesn't matter what number we put in for w the equation is going to balance. The left side is going to equal the right. We could put in 100. We could put in negative 3.2. Uh, we could put in 4 fifths. Infinitely many solutions. There's any. We could plug in anything for w and get a true statement. This is called an identity. All right. Here's another one. Uh, as, I, as I look at this, negative 11g plus 9 minus negative 7g. I don't like it. I don't like two signs in a row right there. I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to rewrite it. Negative 11g plus 9. We know that subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. So plus 7g. And I'll go ahead and distribute here on the right side. Negative 4 times g is negative 4g. And negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. All right, simplify each thing before we do any, or simplify each side before we do anything to both sides. We've got a negative 11g and a 7g. Negative 11 plus 7 gives us negative 4g plus 9 is equal to negative 4g plus 8. All right, we get our variables together first. Add 4g to both sides. And again, our g's have canceled. We added 4g to both sides. All the g's went away. But this time, we are left with something that is not true. 9 equals 8. No, it does not. 9 does not equal 8. This is, um, it's not called... 
Well, the last one was an identity. This equation has no solution. Uh, there's not a special name for it that I know of. Maybe there is, but the point is there is no number that we could substitute in for g. There's nothing we could put in up there that would make the left side equal the right side. There is no solution. Uh, 9 does not equal 8. There is no, there is no answer. There's, there's no solution for this problem. So those are our, our three different solution sets. We've got one solution, which is what we've been working with uh, so far. We have identities, which means you can substitute in any number and it will make it true. And there's no solution where there's no number that you can substitute in to make it true. Uh, if you have questions, write them down. We'll talk about them soon. See you.